There's a brand new competitor to Sora and Kling that has come out within the last few hours. It's called Dream Machine and it's by a company called Luma Labs. And I'm gonna tell you all about it. Dream Machine is priding itself on being able to consistently create action shots. So we've got one here, which is uh, Uncanny Harry uh, pointing out his firearm. We've got a person on a ski doo where they're coming towards the camera. And then you have this one on the left, which is looks like a balloon person in a balloon town. And there's a lot of different things going on, walking actions, transitions from handing off one set of balloons to the other person. And there's also the possibility to create consistent characters within videos. One of the features that Dream Machine is touting is also its camera angles and the way that it moves through video. You got one shot where there's a bear swimming in the water and you have the camera rising up from beneath it. This other one is camera that is panning what looks to be through an explosion of a home. Although there are some limitations that Dream Machine calls out, such as morphing, some movement clipping. The text is not quite right yet. And for now, videos are only up to five seconds. But the difference between video services like Sora or Kling is with Dream Machine, you can use it right now. You can actually create these videos right now and we're gonna do that together. So it's as simple as logging in with your Google account, so right now, Dream Machine is experiencing a lot of demand and they're letting you know that. Generally though, generations do take about 120 seconds, which is pretty quick. There's two ways you can go about creating images. The most obvious one is you can just create an image from a prompt that you create. There's a little icon here on the left though, and you can upload an image and it'll animate it for you. So we're gonna do both things. I'm gonna take this prompt that was used to create this video in Sora, and I'm gonna use it in Dream Machine and see how it does. When the video generations finish, you get two different versions. So let's look at the first one. This was the exact same prompt that I'd used from Sora. It looks pretty good, it looks very lifelike. Comparing it to the version of Sora, obviously Sora can generate videos a little bit longer than Dream Machine can. So you're getting some close-ups and some other shots. Let's look at the next one. There's a difference in time. Dream Machine doesn't get the ability to do the full expansion of what the scene should be. And because we can't see the person's face in this video, I think this one is a bit of a wash. I also wanted to take this prompt from Sora and I wanted to see how Dream Machine did when it came to replicating this kind of a scene. So here's the first one. Okay, so, but it's clearly not inside a cup of coffee and Dream Machine is still interpreting this as a ship being actually in the water and there's no second ship battling each other. This is the next version. So again, no second pirate ship. There's no coffee here, but it is doing a good job with the water and the movement of the water. So commendable attempt. This was another photo that I created in a previous video and I wanted to see how Dream Machine can now animate still images. So this looks really good. When you upload images, it also asks you to write a prompt. So I added in detective walking down a dark street, car driving through film noir, because that's the scene that I want to set. Although the detective is not walking, it mimics the car driving towards the camera very well. It's a little bit hard to see, but the rain is clearly dropping. You can tell that there's reflections matching the sign so this does a really good job. Let's see what the second version is like. So it gets off to a little bit of a slow start, but wow, this is much different than the first one. Clearly this detective is being animated and the car is driving through. Even though the scene stopped, what I suspect is eventually if we were to able to extend this, there would be some clipping between the detective and the car that's driving towards the camera. And then also it's kind of unusual because there's nobody driving the car. It looks as though the umbrella is attached to the detective's head. But I like where this is going. Here's a number of examples from Alan T on X. Make sure to give him a follow. This one is a man with a television head walking through New York City Times Square. Black and white, it has an old vintage vibe. He's got an old vintage television set on his head. There looked like there's a bit of morphing there towards the end where the some of the characters are blending together as he's walking by. This one is a shot of a demon standing in front of a massive flyer flapping its wings. This one is a young woman staring off into the distance acting surprised. It looks like it was used from an existing image. This one I'm really impressed with. So this is a cinematic shot of a husband slow dancing with his wife during a 1950s dance. So it looks like an old school black and white movie from the 50s and it just looks incredible. I'm very impressed. So this one is a cinematic shot of a Western cowboy made to look like an old movie and you can see the action sequences in play. 
I'm noticing the guns are kind of disjointed and some of the sparks from the firing are a little bit off, but overall it looks good. This set of videos is directly from Luma's X account. And with these ones, they've worked with some creators, but the difference is they've actually gone ahead and worked through extending the videos. Let's take a look at some of these. This one looks like a futuristic city where a man is traveling through the streets. It's showing different views uh, throughout his day. He's got robots there. And this one is about a minute long. While Dream Machine for right now is only allowing up to five second clips, you can clearly tell that Luma is really working hard to get further functionality out there. And they're working behind the scenes to really give you the ability to extend video. This is another one, which is Monster Camp, a little bit longer. But it looks very much like a Monsters Inc. kind of a setup. You can see some of the morphing there. Really impressive, complete 3D animation. Lots of cute characters. This one they're showing is a cinematic motion. So I could see this being like, like an old school music video from the nineties or something. And you've got these different shots and these different camera angles panning around this woman. This one is really cool because this is mimicking a shaky cam as it's moving through an abandoned building. For the free plan, you do get 30 generations for an entire month. And then if you want to upgrade, they have a few different plans, which drastically increases the amount of generations that you can create. If you want to try Dream Machine yourself, I'll put the link for the website in the description below. And if you want to further enhance your capability when it comes to using AI tools for whatever your creative endeavors are, I have some content that's popping up that you can click on right here.